Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Rift, the mod loader for 1.13.2. And in addition to that, now we can have Voxel Map, the mini map for 1.13.2, and install Optifine in an easier way than we could before uh, the uh, update of Rift. Okay, so guys, let me show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to send you to a link here at GitHub where a user named Chocohead has um, updated it. He's forked it, okay? And so the original developer hadn't updated it since August. And so th this guy has uh, updated for now. And then we'll see if these branches get merged and how that works. But, you know, with a mod loader, it's important to keep on top of the latest versions. And I'm glad this person stepped up and uh, did this. Okay, so... Uh, when you go to the page here, here on the README section down at the bottom, there's going to be a link for playing on Minecraft 1.13 with a link. The current version can be downloaded from here. Click that, download it, and pull it down to your disk, okay? And when you do, it will be named uh, Rift Jetpack and then some numbers and stuff. All right, grab that. Then we're going to go ahead and get Voxel Map. So uh, under CurseForge, under Projects, you can see the mods area it's a good way to keep up with what's good on 1.13.2 and select 1.13.2 from the game version and it'll show you what's been updated so there's only four right now but voxel map is one of them so i'll also send a link directly to the voxel map page and here under the file section you'll see that it's available for 1.13.2 and you can download it there and grab it okay so when you get it it'll come out on your disk and you'll have uh, this called Rift Mod Voxel Map. All right, 1.18, 1.8, 1 1.2, whatever. Okay, and then you will want to get Optifine, so only get it from Optifine.net and only get Voxel Map from um, CurseForge. And go ahead and get the Optifine HD Ultra release here. You can download it. If you wanted to go under preview versions, there's a drop down there and you could get preview versions as well. They're easier to try out now since you don't have to change any text files. Okay, then the last thing we are going to need is a text file uh, that we will edit and I will leave a link to that in the instructions and I want to credit where I got this. I got it from uh, from the Discord for MultiMC from a guy named Cannon Fodder here. Okay, so credit to him for helping us do that. But I've got it at a space where you can get it. And the easiest way to do it is just hit raw and then select all and copy. Okay, you're going to need this text. But we'll probably have to recopy it again because we got to move some stuff. All right, so now we want to go to multi MC and we want to create a new instance. All right, and we want to be sure 1.13.2 is selected here. And then we can just name it whatever, but I'm going to name it Rift.113.2. Okay, and create the new instance. Then from that, we basically just want to uh, choose instance folder off to the side here, and we'll get an instance folder. It'll open at a base level. Then we can launch Minecraft. We just need to launch it once to add some um, other files. But while that's launching here in this folder, we can create a new folder, okay? And we can call it libraries, all right? Libraries, be sure it's spelled it right. It has to be libraries. Okay, so now inside of the libraries folder here, uh, which Minecraft launch fine, so we'll go ahead and just quit that. Uh, we just do it to go ahead and create the folders that we need. Here inside the libraries folder, we want to take that Rift jar that we downloaded, copy it and paste it into there, into the libraries folder. Okay, then we can open the .minecraft folder here in a new tab or whatever you got to do. So inside of there, you can... Uh, with the multi MC, you can right click and get edit instance. Okay, this is kind of the easiest way to install the mods, uh, but go and get them on your disk here. Uh, this is the mod for voxel map. Okay, and so we can drag it into that window. Uh, we can do the same thing with Optifine. So go to get Optifine here and drag it into the window. Okay, now what we'll need to do is we'll need to go to the version tab here along the side. And we need to create a new add empty. Okay, it's under advanced. We're going to create a new text file under add empty. Now we need to name this guy Rift. 
and then we need to put in org.demdev.rift. Okay, and it's got to be this exactly, guys. Rift, org.demdev.rift. And then we hit OK. Now, where you can get that information if you need it as a reference and just a little bit of written instructions is under installing Rift in a multi-MC, an alternative method. I'll leave a link to this page. Not up to date or anything, but it's got at least some helpful information on it. All right, so once we have that done, we select that entry in the list, the Rift one, and then we hit edit, okay? And it will open in a text editor, right? It's a JSON file, so if you have JSON files mapped to your text editor, it will open up inside of there. This is what we will paste, where we will paste the information uh, from the GIST uh, site, okay? So just go through and copy all that. Um, I'll try to keep it up to date with changing versions, but uh, we paste that, all right? If there is changes, you would just need to change like the version number here, uh, you know, stuff like that would, the name of the file that you're linking to here, this is the stuff that you would need to change if you do need to change it. Then we just need to say, put save, do that and close it, okay? And go back to multi-MC and everything should be done. All right, you could test that it's uh, been changed by going to the edit button and it will open that same file and you're good to go. Okay, so basically, like I said, just go to multi-MC again. Right here and we could choose launch. And now we should be good. We should have Optifine and we should have uh, the voxel map mini map available to us, which is awesome. Okay, so let's let it launch. Shouldn't take but a second. And uh, as I said, with changing Optifine versions, it becomes a lot easier now because all you need to do is put it into the mods folder. Uh, I do have a video on the channel if you want Optifine only without Rift about how to do a similar thing to this by uh, giving text directories and putting it in the libraries folder. All right, so let's first turn off this music, get it out of our way, and I'm just going to set a few controls, auto jump off. Now, if it loaded correctly, we should see many map controls here at the bottom. So everything's good on that. You can go through and set those up however you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change some of my settings here, and then we'll create a new world and look at our the beauty of our mini map. Just name it New World's Fine. And um, I'll show you under the video settings and stuff that Optifine is installed as well. So, of course, with Optifine, you can go through and add resource packs and make your settings to get a better FPS. And now I do have a video on the channel about altering uh, resource packs that have custom skies. You need to do that for 113 if they haven't been updated. And so check that out if, if you want. Uh, it's it's very helpful. Okay, so here we go, coming into the world, and this should do it. So you will know immediately if it is installed because it will give you a message saying that here's some information about uh, voxel map and what have you. And then to know that Optifine is installed, just hit your options key and go under video settings. At the bottom, it'll say Optifine HD E4 Ultra and then have all of its settings available. So guys, there we go. Optifine and voxel map, mini map for 113. And it's, it's, there's no doubt that many more mods will come out um, now that 113 has been updated. So look forward to that. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was easy to do. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And please, please guys, take a moment and leave a like. It makes so much difference to if I, you know, am motivated to do these videos or not. You just have no idea. It means a lot. And consider subscribing to the channel because I will keep updated information coming forward. I try to figure this stuff out as fast as I can or go to the appropriate forums to learn the information. Anyway, this is it for this video. Scott O'Malley, take care, everybody. Have a great day and bye-bye.